did you know that ESP32 S3 can be used as HID or a human interface device? Basically, you can program it to act as a keyboard or a mouse. I'm using this feature in this project. This is MakerFab's MI Touch 1.28 inch rotary display and I'm using it to to control volume on my on my PC. I can mute and unmute sound. I can change volume and I can change colors of this dial which is cool I like blue one I have had this idea for a while and when my sponsor MakerFabs offered to send me this I knew that this board is right choice for this project because it can stand near my laptop on desk it is quite elegant because this metal dial very nice but not too elegant it still have this maker look because of this and it is ESP32 S3 so it can be used as human interface device. Older um, ESP32 can't do that. I already showed you this one, the bigger brother. This is 480 by 480. Also nice board made by Maker Fabs. You can find video about this board in the description but this one was too big for this simple task so I'm using it to control volume of sound but you can use same concept for for many different projects for example you can program sh shortcut keys combination uh, for software you you use in this video I will show you how for this I wanted simple and elegant design this is pure code and uh, in this case I'm not using LVGL or Square Line Studio the code is pretty simple and not too long code is of course free and you can find it in description the hardest part was setting <laughs> color for each of these lines you can see that uh, colors of these lines change as I rotate the dial and it w if we check the code this part of code will um, will find right color for each line it will basically find color between start color and N color. In this case start color is dark blue and N color is white. So colors are chosen from dark to white and from white to dark. There is six different color shames. Part that is used to send virtual keyboard press is here for example. So in this case uh, this part will press control shift and number 8. You can send any keyboard uh, key uh, any keyboard combination and after you send them you need to release all keys. Library for this is included uh, in 
board definitions so these two libraries and you will need just in setup use this keyboard begin and USB begin basically it is very very simple and easy to use library now question is why I use these these uh, combination for um, if you plan control some software which have a um, keyboard shortcuts well defined it is not a problem but unfortunately Windows does not <laughs> include standard keyboard shortcuts for turning the vo volume up or down and usually laptops have their own keys for that but I don't want to use them uh, because in that case my code will not be useful for you so I found so I found this article which explains how to use this software to create your own uh, key shortcuts I created few combinations which was free control plus shift plus seven is mute control plus shift plus eight is increase volume plus nine is decrease and plus zero is set volume to 38 percent so if I press here it will go to 38 percent percent on my device and on my sound car keep in mind that if you want to use my code you will need to download and install this third-party software and make same hotkey it is important to say that if you flash uh, this code to your board it will not be visible in Arduino anymore because now PC recognize this, this, this device as human interface device and if you want to reprogram it you will need to reset it so to reset it you will need to plug power out, out press this reset button and hold and return and now board is in programming mode and I can see port 14 and if I press here it will reset it to 38 percent and I can also mute it what I love uh, what I really like about this board is price it is reason <laughs> reasonably priced it is not too expensive and which is really great and now for the end of video let's see what else this board can offer let's remove this plastic cover I hope that you learned something in this video and I hope that you will that you will make your own keyboards and mouses and control your PC so what we have here we have three connectors for for additional modules SD card slot and SD card was included which is nice and we have boot and reset button and that's it here is antenna 
there is no battery connector so this board is probably meant to use like this or to be powered with USB. Thank you, have a nice day, bye!